sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? So I have the chance uh, right now with this particular set of strings to show you something that might happen to you once or twice a year, depending on how often you change your strings. Um, and this is a, a tuning issue. Every once in a while, I've had a situation where I sit there and I just fight the mandolin all the time as far as like I, I use the tuner religiously, get it exactly right, and as I'm playing along it just sounds out of tune and so I use the tuner again, make sure that's all right, sure enough, that's fine, but then I start resorting to more drastic options like moving the bridge, trying to get things to sound right, um, and you just sometimes can get in a very frustrating loop and start doing more and more destructive things. Um, but it actually can be due to just a wonky set of strings. Now currently this set of strings right here is a set of Diodario XT custom mediums, so the uh, 40 to 11.5 uh, thousandths of an inch. Um, and these are only about a week old, so these aren't, this. and the set's been like this the whole time. I've been making sure they're not going to break in and get better as they go, and they're not. Um, so these are fairly fresh strings, still very bright, and I've been washing my fingers every time I use them, so they're not dead by any reason of that. And these are the plain strings too, which are usually less to go wrong with them, because it's just the plain steel. I'm going to show you the tuner side of the mandolin as well, just to show you that indeed these strings are exactly in tune. So I'm just going to play individual strings at a time. So here's A number one, and A number two, and then the pair together. Maybe reading it a touch high just due to the interactions, but it depends on exactly which time I play it. So now I'll show you the E strings. So the first E. Right on the nose, second one, and then the pair together. So those are showing exactly in tune according to the tuner, but when you play them together, something just sounds off there. As a violinist, that's how I tune all the time. I just play two strings together and I tune that fifth interval. And I can actually show you another way that this is um, demonstrating itself. So there's a way that the string bassists tune. They play two different harmonics on the strings to try to equal the same exact note. And I'll show you that here. So if I play uh, seventh fret on the A string, I can do an E harmonic. And then um, the regular octave harmonic on the E string. Those two harmonics should equal each other. If I play them right next to each other, you'll hear that the uh, E strings sound flat. So again, these strings are perfectly in tune, open strings, and since they're open and I'm playing harmonics, it has nothing to do with the frets, it has nothing to do with the bridge position, this is only has to do with the strings themselves. So I'm going to change the strings and then I'll come back and I'll show you, and I'm going to change it in such a way that the bridge doesn't move, nut doesn't move, it's just a, um, a straight string change only, and I'll show you, uh, hopefully that set should be right as they usually are, and uh, show you the difference that can make. But Again, sometimes you're playing along and it just sounds weird, just like this. Just frustrating sometimes. So, I'll see you back after the string change. So it is now 9.33, so 28 minutes later after a string change and a bunch of tuning. Uh, really bright now, but um, I think we were indeed successful. So I'm going to go back to the tuner view so you can see that I uh, am indeed in tune here. So I'll play the A's individually. There's one. Touch flat. There you go. There we go. That should be about right. Brand new strings are still going to drift in and out just for a little bit while they uh, settle out. But then the E strings. Right on the money. Sounds a touch high. Let me hear the pair. There we go. But then you play the pair together. A lot better. 
So then I'll play those harmonics like I was demonstrating too. Maybe still a little difference there. Yeah, A string drifts high a little bit on the on when I play the pair. Sometimes the interaction between the two strings, even if one's just right and you make the other one uh, sound equal to it, the pair will interact and go a little bit higher. There we go. As the notes settle out, it goes to a perfect day. And then we'll play the pairs. There we go. That sounds right. And then the harmonics. It's about as equal as you're going to get there. So, a little bit finicky. Obviously, these are always the A's and the E's, so they're always a bit of a pain on the mandolin. But um, I can tell already just with this new set, and again, this is a straight Diodario XT custom medium gauge. Um, so, like for like. And uh, it already sounds a lot better to me. I'm fighting it a lot less, so. Yeah, much better, so. Hope that helps. Hope it keeps you from doing anything drastic to your poor mandolin or your uh, bridge or anything like that. And uh, happy picking.